Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back! Sorry, uh, <laughs> in between the episode, I was listening to the little background music of Solar Jetman right here, and uh, I'm gonna crank it up so you guys can hear it, but check this out. God, it's it's just so fucking funky, and I can't even can't even stop just like moving my body and trying to get into it a little more. But guys, welcome back. Thank you uh, for coming back to another episode of Rare Replay. Today we are playing Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warship. Released in 1990, this is an action adventure game for one player. Gather fuel and other resources to move between worlds as you hunt for the scattered parts of your Golden Warship. Warp ship. Oh, my bad. So here we go. Let's uh, let's check out the milestones before we drop into the game, please. All right, so Lonely Out in Space, we got that. Every milestone pretty much has the first one being play the game for the first time. And then the next three just jump in ridiculousness. So uh, Heart of Gold, collect all the Golden Warship, uh, Warp Ship over time. Interstellar Training, use all three jet pods over time. So we've used one of three. Uh, Newton's Revenge, over time, tow 50 items back to the mothership. So 2% of 50 is like what? Professor Sanford will do the math and put it down below. Over time, reach a cumulative score of 100,000 points. Now, the game point system must be pretty low for their ultimate uh, thing to be fucking just 100,000. But let's jump right in. I actually, uh, yeah, we looked at it. I think Snake, Rattle, and Roll was the first episode we started actually looking at those, so. Take a sip of my coffee. Solar Jetman. do 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 Fuck, that shit is so fucking funky. All right, so here we go. Press start to land. Uh, this approaching planet is one pre pre preludon, preludon in the system Xandor. So the password is KBB, KBB, DBB, DBB, in case you want to play at home. Uh, and the diameter is seven, the gravity is eight. I'm sure all of that means something in this game. I doubt I'm going to play long enough to find it out. But man, look at how crisp and clean that looks. Oh god. This makes me think of some fucking I don't I don't know what platform this was on. I'm assuming all of these till I get to a certain point where I know for sure are just arcade games. But this kind of seems like this might have been like a DOS PC uh gamer game. Can I any Okay. Uh Okay. Okay, so I got Rocket Boys. Uh Am I supposed to be fighting that? It doesn't look like my shit. Oh, there we go. Hey, 25 points. Okay, so 25 points for kill... Uh, for killing a pretty big enemy makes a... Uh, God damn. This is... This is some hair trigger shit right here, people. Makes the 100,000 accumulative score pretty... Oh, fuck off, dude. Pretty understandable. I am... I am junk at driving this thing. Uh, no! So am I, is down the way I'm supposed to go? Because that's where... Oh, uh, here we go. Because that's where I'm going. I'm pretty sure when you when you break the ship, you... uh Okay, what, what is that? All right, so this is a piece. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so slow. I can't... Is, was fuel going down also just for me flying, or was it... Dude... Oh, it's dragging us back down. Uh, come on, come on. I'm going up. Oh, no. Okay, so that's the problem is I keep getting... All right, so we just got to... We just got to super neat and clean. Yep. All right. So now now I'm the, the space dude while, while my ship is getting better. I can't shoot down, which sucks. Uh... Huh. All right. Ship's back. We got... So that's, that's pretty cool. So technically you get a total of eight lives, which is pretty nice. Uh, okay, here we go. We got that little bounce to propel us. Now we're going straight up. Here we go. Here we go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I saw a funny little cartoon today that was like, sir, it like this dude ran into like a, a dude, like a scientist's office and the scientist was mortified and he was like, your probes are now equipped with shields. Press down to activate. Oh, needy boys. Does that drain fuel? 
Doesn't look like it. All right, so we have to go back that way because there was another path we could have taken. But anyway, I saw this cartoon and it was, oh, okay. It was a scientist, dude. The scientist in his office and some guy comes rushing in and he's like, sir, we have terrible news. Ska is back. And uh, the scientist is like, those fools, don't they realize? And then it turns and he's got like all these jars with like trumpets and fucking trombones and, <laughs> and like bass guitars in them. That say like ska all over him, and it's he's like ska never left, and uh, that's pretty funny. And me telling that story where no one is like laughing behind me is just making me think it was stupid. <laughs> Come on now, Come on now, Diamond Boys. I think we're getting a little better at this, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all to the beat, y'all. Storing crystal value five hundred more crystals needed for a bonus life. But we got 500 points. That's a that's a fraction of the way to the 100,000 over time. So way to go us. But we started the game with a thousand points. So I'm like, what like what are points? Do the a thousand points that we got to start with count towards that over time? Uh, is that something we want? Is that an enemy? Going for it. Oh no! Oh no! We don't we don't like that at all. And now we know. Oh, that's fuel. Can I can I as the spaceman grab it? No. So okay. So I guess maybe as the spaceman you have to go back and get another ship. It probably would have been easier to just die there, right? But we, we were looking for fuel, and now we know that that's where it is. So now if I, like, land here, explore. Okay, so now I got another ship. Okay. Seems all right. But now we know where the fuel is. This, this stupid shield. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Looks like a little, like, rat head. Okay, so the shield is actually, like, as I'm bumping into shit, it's fucking, like, sending out little firing shots, which is kind of nice. But I think every time it does that, I'm losing fuel. So, like, what's the give and take? Yeah, I'm totally losing fuel every time it does it. Damn it. Here we go. Here we go. Light, light and breezy. Easy, easy, breezy, beautiful. Am I supposed to, like, what am I supposed to do right now? Do I have to turn the shield off? There we go. Shield off. Oh, okay. Okay, so fuck off with that. So every time I turn the shield on, it drops whatever I'm carrying. Which is, which is fine. That's a fine mechanic. Dude. Dude. What is this game? Alright, so now I can go back and get a new ship. Alright, so it seems like at least the ships can be rebuilt pretty simply. So, we at least got that going for us. It's just about... Dude, this game's controls are fucking awful. Again, like, I'm wondering, like, what were the con Like, and I get it, you know, space is a fucking vast unknown frontier that I don't know anything about. But... Like, did it have to be so, like, ice levelly? God damn. Alright, here we go. Fuck out of here. Oh, we, we're nailing this. We got this. As long as I don't accidentally hit down. Come on. Oh, fuck me, dude. I'm like, maybe if I thrust it more, instead of just, like, trying to turn and... No, that wasn't doing shit. Because I'm like, you start that momentum and it's immediately just like, hey, you're, you're done with this. You're not fucking... You have collected enough fuel. Now find the ship part and blast off. What ship part? There was nothing else on this planet. Yep. 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 
I, I didn't see anything else, guys. So we're actually going to wrap up the episode here. This has been Solar Jetman, quest for the fucking golden warp ship or whatever. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. It's a pretty... It's definitely a leap forward as far as, like, innovation and mechanics and stuff like that. And the games are only going to get better as we keep going. So, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Find me anywhere on the internet while this guy just bounces around and dies. Uh, and, of course, as always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys.